How would you feel if you were so honored to spend a day with the likes of prominent Alabamians like Dr. David Satcher, Chief Tuscaloosa, Bo Jackson, Helen Keller, and Condoleezza Rice? And what would you do if they were all in the same room at the same time? Well, one local elementary school has the answer to that. White Plains Elementary hosted an Alabama Living History Museum where their fourth grade students portrayed famous historical figures. I became the first African-American male U.S. Surgeon General from 1998 to, 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 to 2002. Thank you. Then Chief Tuscaloosa organized a surprise attack on him, but he lost. And his language is dead, and no quotes are, there are no quotes we know. And he was held hostage, too. Not only did the students research their selected person, but they also made posters, participated in a project-based learning activity, and shared the day with parents and grandparents. Some have even done movies and PowerPoints, and I mean, it's just been all-inclusive. It's got both English, writing, language arts, um, reading, and... Speaking and listening skills. Yes, <laughs> uh, all of those, along with Alabama history. They'll remember these people. One young student was greatly inspired by the historical figures she researched. She shared that, like Helen Keller, she also wants to go forward in life and do good. She makes me like feel it's like she helps other kids before she died, and then that makes me feel pretty good about myself because I like to be her, and plus she helps other kids, and I really want to help other kids too. Students were given freedom to choose who they wanted to represent. 